Hello, welcome back to the Rocks and Change YouTube channel. My name's Fleur Hastings and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful weave called Double Vision. Now it does have another name. This other name for this weave is also called Barrel Weave. Okay, so we can see that we've got these lovely barrels here or this double double vision look here. Okay, so it's it's like a flat weave it's, it's halfway between a flat weave and a round weave this one so we've got obviously the rounded sections but it does lay nice and flat when it's being worn so again we've got this one in the two colors um as with most chainmail it looks really beautiful when it's done in two colors because you can see the 3d nature of it okay so we can if I just turn it slightly there you can see so these kits are available on hochanda tv um i will link in the description below there is a couple of different color ways that this one comes in um but for this weave i'm using jump rings of an aspect ratio of 3.75 so the jump rings that i'm using are 3.75 jump millimeter jump rings on a one millimeter wire now to create this kit we're going to take as you can see here i've had 100 of the silver plated and 60 of the rose gold colored okay so about 160 and i had a few left over as you can see there um, and this makes an eight and a half inch bracelet so if you um, only need a seven inch bracelet you're going to have quite a few jump, jump rings left over maybe you can make a pair of earrings or something like that so not only do you get the jump rings to make this gorgeous weave you also get your practice jump rings as well so we get our double vision practice jump rings and what that means is we can start by using the written tutorial that comes in the kit or, or using this um, video tutorial on YouTube, using the different colorways, we'll be able to see where each piece goes a lot easier, okay? So this can be your reference weave in the future to so you know, um, if you forget how to do it or you lose your instructions, you can go back and see how it was constructed. It can also be your starter weave, so you can actually start to weave from this piece and not um, have to start it again, because. In chain mail, the starting bit is the most trickiest bit because there's no pattern that has been um, formed as such. So if you always have like a little starter weave like this, you can see straight away what it is. Um, and also you can start to weave straight from this in whatever color you want. What I suggest is you pop a little um, piece of tape on here that just says um, the name of the weave. So double vision or barrel weave, whichever you want to know it as. Okay, so... We'll come back to the starter weave um, in a second. Um, what you're going to need to create this piece of jewellery is two pairs of chain nose or flat nose pliers. Now here I've got a pair of each. So these are my chain nose and you can see they're very fine tipped um, and they have got very smooth flat jaws on the inside. So these are my chain nose and these are the flat nose. So you can see these have got more of a blunt nose and these have got to the point okay now these are slightly different to maybe jewel replies that you've seen before um as in that they are quite small in the ends of the, the the pieces it just makes it really easy to pick up small jump rings with these pliers i really like these and they sit so nice and ergonomically in your hands as well okay so let's get started so i'm going to show you on very large jump rings how this weave is constructed just so you can see it a little bit easier. So I've supersized all the jump rings up and I've supersized my safety pin up as well. So what I'm gonna to do to start with is I'm gonna take a gold jump ring. So that I'm, if I'm working from my um, starter kit um, in my practice jump rings, it will be the gold one that you start with. If you're working with your own jump rings, it's your main color. So you can see the main color in this bracelet here is the silver, okay? So it's only the orbiting jump rings here that are in a different color. So I'm going to start with my main colour and I'm going to add that to my safety pin, okay? Now from here I'm going to add two more jump rings of the same colour. Obviously if you're working from the tutorial um, with your starter rings it will be exactly the same colours that you see here. The gold, the silver and the black, okay? Now this is where we have to keep look at portrait and landscape jump rings okay this jump ring here is what we class as a portrait jump ring because it's vertical 
And these are our landscape jump rings because they're horizontal. Now this weave only works when you keep the same pattern over and over again. Like all chain mail, it just follows a pattern. If you um, get lost in the pattern, then you have to sort of like just go back and look where you are um, and see why it's gone a little bit wrong. And it will in this pattern, it will be because of this stage. It was always going to be because of this stage nine times out of ten. Now, what we need to do with these two vert uh, horizontal jump rings, these landscape jump rings, is we need to push the silver one up and the gold one down. So, uh, sorry, the gold, um, black one down. So what we can see now is we've got three gaps. We've got gap one, which is nearest me. So gap one here, which starts at the black jump ring edge and finishes at the silver jump ring edge. We've got gap number two, which in chain mail terms, we call this the eye. So we can actually see it looks like an eye shape there. So this is gap number two. So it starts where the silver one at the bottom and finishes at the top of the black jump ring here. And then gap number three, which starts at the black jump ring, the bottom jump ring top and finishes at the bottom, at the top of the silver jump ring. So I'll just do that again for you. So gap number one, Gap number two in the eye and gap number three, okay, which is here. So this weave, we're always thinking about um, two sort of like little rules of thumb. Our orbiting jump rings or our round jump rings are going to go around this eye shape. So they're going to come up through the bottom and down through the top. So up through gap number one down through gap number three. So they're going to sit around the eye shape. Okay, so I'm gonna pop those two in now. So now I'm gonna to switch to a red pair of jump rings. So if you're um, working along with your practice jump rings that are in the kit, you're now gonna to switch to your red jump rings. And like I say, you're gonna go in through the gap that's closest to you, so gap number one. We're gonna turn our wrist and go down through gap number three. So we've gone over the top. If I turn it there, you can see we've gone over the top of where gap number two is. Okay, and then we're going to close that jump ring up. Okay, so now it's not attached to anything that jump ring, it's just gone in through one gap and out through another. And you can see it can move, it's orbiting. This eye shape is just going to sit around the eye shape. And now because this is double vision or barrel weave, we're going to then put another jump ring in exactly the same place. So in through gap number one, over the top of gap number two and down through gap number three. OK, so let's do that one more time for you. Up through gap number one, over gap number two and down through gap number three and close. Okay, so now we have our two orbiting jump rings, which are here. So we can see that we've got two there. Now, with chainmail, there's lots of different variants on lots of different weaves. So if you were to put three jump rings in here, you'd have to go up to a bigger size of jump ring. But if you were to put three jump rings in, that would have another name. And then if you put one jump ring in, it would have another name. So with one jump ring, it's called Rhino Snorting Drano. And with three jump rings, it's called a keg weave. Um, and again, you'd have to ch uh, play about with the sizes of jump rings just to get that so it sits nice and tightly together and it's in the correct, what we call aspect ratio. Okay, so now we need to think about how we can like secure these jump rings in place. If I let go of this, it's not actually in any sort of form. So we need to secure it in place. So with these two jump rings have gone around the eye shape. Now it's really important to remember that eye shape. Okay, that gap number two, because our next jump ring is going to go through gap number two. So we've had two jump rings that have gone around the eye. This jump ring goes through the eye and you can see now how that's sort of like secured everything in place. Okay, so we've gone around the eye with the two red and now we're going to go through the eye with that gold and close that up. And we're now back to the start again. So now what we can do is take our silver jump ring and our gold jump ring and add those together onto the same. So we've just added another pair of jump rings. Now this is where we have to concentrate about which jump ring goes where. So we always have to follow the pattern. 
So remember the silver jump ring went up, the black jump ring came down. We have to do exactly the same with these pair, okay? So the silver jump ring's gone up, the black jump ring's gone down. So always remember the top jump ring slides away, the bottom jump ring slides down towards you. I now have my three gaps again, so I can now go back to my red jump rings, and I can go through gap number one, over the top of gap number three, in, uh, and uh, say that again, let me do it again for you. Up through gap number one, over the top of gap number two, and down through gap number three. And close. And again, take my next open jump ring, up through gap number one, over the top of gap number two, and down through gap number three. And then to keep all those in place, so I've now got my two orbiting jump rings. I'm now going to take my gold jump ring and go through the eye. Now, though in the correct size, which I'm going to show you in, in a second, there isn't as much room as you can see here. So you'll only just be able to see that corner of the eye shape. So what the easiest way to do is go through the bottom jump ring and then go through the top jump ring. Okay, so you've gone through the eye, but I'm going to show you that now in the correct size. So you can see now how our pattern is starting to evolve. So you're going to carry on going till you've got the desired length of your bracelet. But what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to show you on the, um, the jump rings that are in the actual kit itself. So I've left this one here. Let me just get the camera to focus. So you can see I've left it on a double jump ring. So I'm just going to spread those jump rings. So the top jump ring has gone up. So the silver jump ring has gone up. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more just so you can see. So the silver jump ring has gone up. The black jump ring has come down. We can still see our three um, little gaps. So we've got, let me just make that gap a little bit bigger. There we go. So we can see gap number one, gap number two, and gap number three. Okay. So I'm going to take my red jump ring. And I'm going to go through gap number one, which is just the black jump ring. And I'm going to go over the top of gap number two and down through gap number three. And then close that jump ring up. So we've got our first orbiting jump ring, you can see there. I'm going to take my second jump ring. And again, exactly the same space through gap number one over the top of gap number two and down through gap number three making sure that they sit side by side we don't want them to cross over and close our jump ring and now to keep these in in place we're going to take our gold jump ring and we're going to go through let me just move those pliers out of the way just so the camera doesn't focus on those so if I just get my knot and all and I'll show you. So now I'm going to go through gap number two. And obviously you'll have this a lot closer to you and you won't be working backwards on a camera. So gap number two is just here. Okay. Let me just turn it to the side so you can see. So it's just there. Okay. So you can see there where the gap number two is, where they cross over, okay? So I'm going to take my gold jump ring and I'm going to go through the black jump ring and through the silver jump ring and you can see now how that's sitting in the eye shape of gap number two. You can see there. Okay, I'll show you all the way around. I'll show you again just so you can see. So there's where my two jump rings are. So I'm going to go through the black jump ring and then through the silver jump ring. And that's gone in there. And I've not collected any of my orbiting jump rings. And I'm now going to take my next pair of pliers, my other pair of pliers, and just close. Close that jump ring up. And you can see now that's kept that in place. 
Now, if you've never made chainmail before and you want to, um, you don't know how to open and close jump rings, I do have a YouTube tutorial on how to open and close jump rings and I'll pop it in the description below and um, also on a little card um, near the start of this video and I'll also try and pop it on this one as well at the end here. So I'm just popping on now my next two jump rings. So that's the black jump ring that's gone into place. Apologies, it went a little bit blurry there. And then my silver jump ring in place. And I'm back to where I left it. If you do have to leave this chainmail weave at any time, it's always better to leave it in this state here. So you've always got a pair of jump rings. So you know then that you're just going to push those up. Let's get it into focus. Come on, focus. There we go. And we're now back to having our three gaps. Gap number one. Gap number two in the middle and gap number three. So we've got gap number one, gap number two and gap number three. So we can then go ahead and carry on adding to either your starter weave or starting from scratch. So this is your finished bracelet. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it looks great for gents and ladies jewellery as well. When you're attaching your clasp, all you need to do is just attach it to the single jump ring to start with and then just either attach it to the single jump ring there if you want to make it a little bit longer you can add another little jump ring on there as well so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, if you have um maybe give the um give it a, a thumbs up or a like um, and leave me a little comment if you do have any questions obviously leave them in the comments box or you can um, email me at info at rocksandchains.com i hope to see you soon many thanks bye